Greetings everyone, the good tonight here with the highest of speed, lowest of drag hairstyles that you will ever see. Because you really can't go any more minimalist than what we got going here. So hey, today we're going to do a review, because I want to, on the Vertex EDC Ready little bag here. So this is the smaller one. And uh, yeah, you might notice it does not look immediately like a military bag, and that's why I got it. I had the 511. 12 hour rush bag for a while, but it's got molly everywhere, and it's very, very obvious what the bag's for. Now, if you're taking the bag out to the field and using it for field stuff, yeah, that's cool. That's great. You got the molly, put extra stuff on. You know what you're doing. But 511's overall goal was to be more of a uh, low profile concealed carries over a deal. And everyone knows what 511 is. They're comfy. They're really comfy. I'm wearing shorts right now, but that's not the point. The overall point is, you see 511, even their little concealed carry fanny pack and stuff, if you have any idea of tactical gear whatsoever, you know what's going on. So, we wanted to get away from that and have a nice little everyday carry bag that we could use for everyday carry, but ultimately, with the extreme illegality of firearms in Japan, please, anyone in government listening, please fix that. Just, I don't know, some form of Japanese too, Second Amendment needs to be done, but with the illegality, and surprising amount of shootings that still happen up the mainlands, we got our EDC bag, and we're probably going to use it mostly for medical purposes, because if you can't stop holes, and you can't make holes in bad people, then the best you can do is patch up your holes and the holes in other people. So, what I like about this bag, is first and foremost, what we got to talk about, is you go to the zipper back here, in the back of the bag, you open that up, and you're immediately greeted with this cool, massive padding of Velcro. See the hell Velcro is in there. So that's where you put your. Ooh, look, there's a picture. So a handy tutorial picture. Basically, use that to carry your extra mags and handgun. What the hell is that? Why you would opt not to use a Glock 19 or 17, even for that matter, is beyond me. But hey! You get the gun in there. So that's basically the idea of what the back pouch is for. I'm going to have to clean that up later. So yeah, and this stays in the back end, so this is still fully supported. Pull this open, and oh look, you've got all this room to mount in guns and, well, fun items in there. If you so desire, there's a zipper here, so I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen the, oh, never mind. So the zipper is just a backing plate, so that's nifty because you could put a sappy plate in there. So if you don't mind the extra weight, you can also basically turn this into a bit of a shield. Strap that down some manner of way. You turn that into a shield, and now you've got a sappy plate in there, so you're probably just gonna wanna do this and draw your handgun. And hey, if you get shot in the chest, you got a sappy plate. It's probably still gonna hurt like a mm, but you're not you probably won't die, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. So yeah, you got that cool pouch back there, and that's first and foremost. So we come to the main compartment here, pull this open, there's that back plate sort of design going there. There's room for a camelback. It's not really a bag I would imagine to be designed for camelbacks. And your two ports, where are they? The two ports are up in here, so I got my thumbs through there, so you can pour out water. So that does make it useful for long hikes and stuff. There's also more Velcro here, so you can mount fun things if you so desire. More Velcro down at the bottom, there's a zipper panel here, so you can keep anything in this little mesh bag portion. And there's also like, even more Velcro material here, but also three pockets. So yeah, if you want to do anything fun and cool there, you have options. Who's outside? Goddamn communist, every time. So, fun part, I got a Vertex mark in here. Uh, most people don't even know what Vertex is, so you're probably not going to have a lot of people. Considering the fact that you might be carrying firearms in here, so that's good. But you pop open this front zipper, and lo and behold, you got your patch here, because you, I mean, you got to cosplay it all the way, and you got a bunch of molly. One, two, three, so it's all six. So that's your basic mini panel there. You're probably, ooh, that really pops out, don't it? So you probably 
don't want to actually put anything more than like a basic admin pouch or pouches or anything on there because if you're not in a firefight, you're probably not going to need it. I got my little raincoat in here. I'm going to grab, and there's another little compartment that goes farther down there, so that's nifty. And this also is designed to uh, stretch out if you got anything crazy in there. You can make some room for it. Get your voice. Make some noise. Oh, and there's two pouches on the side so you can carry water. So two 500 milliliter bottles of water. That's a liter. A liter's pretty good. On top of the camelback. Umbrellas. If you like umbrellas, you can give it two cans of Red Bull in here so you can stay connected with the youth and their full heads of hair and nice things. And you've got your final zipper up here. <gasps> Crackers! I forgot I put those in there, I'm not gonna lie. I use this bag for work, so I keep a lot of food in here. So now up here we got our multi-tool and our flashlight, a rehydration solution. We got our mini med kit. I need a bigger one, by the way. Someone remind me somewhere down in the future. If I haven't updated in a while, I need a larger med kit. This one's nice because it's ultra light and watertight. That rhyme was intentional, I swear to God. They know what they're doing. But yeah, this is nice. I took out a lot of the stuff that was already in here and put it with a more uh, trauma kit oriented bag. Oh yeah, there's a tourniquet stuffed in here too, so that's why it's all awkward shaped. But yeah, so that's a nice thing to have. I should definitely get a far larger or two med kits and fill those up with more chesty compression needles and halo seals and fun stuff. And I just need to keep that somewhere else because medical equipment is uh, always good to have and hopefully never need. So, you know, just fun stuff there. So that's basically the entirety of the bag. Outside of that, you flip it back around. As you can see, there's this very nice ventilated mesh going throughout the pads here and the stuff here. Something that's missing from the 511 bag. It makes a huge difference. There's also these waist bag straps are down here that honestly I should probably take off because they offer very little benefit to the overall bag. I mean, they're nice to have, but you're probably, if you're carrying that much weight, something's gone wrong. And you got your little chest clip. Yay! One of the other times you can say clip without people getting too upset with you. Can these come off? These do something. Actually, yeah. You pop open, you sly bastard. So yeah, this is little clips on the side, so you can actually pop this off and move it higher or lower at your discretion. That's ingenuity. Oh, and you also got your quick release straps here in case you fall in water or something crazy happens. You need to get the bag off quick, fast, in a hurry. So, ultimately, that's the whole review. And yes, this one is in urban gray because urban gray is the superior urban color. It's got urban in the name. That's all you need to know. And yeah, it also does the... <laughs> You know, actually, before I even started filming this video, I didn't even think about using this and putting a plate in there. But now that I've looked at it, I can see you put a plate in there. Hopefully, I mean, that padding's pretty comfy, but I don't know how much it's gonna do to stop the impact of a round against a hard plate. But hey, ultimately, uh, step one, don't get shot. Because <laughs> you don't have any face protection, generally. Not when you're walking around town. Ooh, actually, you know what, hold on. I don't got a holster yet, but I'm curious. So we put this in here. I'll see what this feels like. Okay, so yeah. You're not really gonna feel it. It does a pretty good job of keeping two solid surfaces between the item and stuff. So you're there, you're wearing your backpack on your chest, because now it's a chest pack apparently. And someone's like, I'm going to shoot everyone in the mall. That's when they say it, by the way, every time it's recorded by law, and you go, ah, are we today? Are we really? You wouldn't shave around though, I'm doing this for dramatic effect. It should, if you're gonna be concealed carrying, keep your weapon loaded. It's just, otherwise you're gonna be like, oh no, he's coming to kill me. And then the guy comes out with a gun, like, ha, hold on, I gotta, I gotta chamber real quick, instead of going like, ah, ha, 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 So, you know, things to consider. I imagine the holster makes a huge difference because now I'm trying to reach in for it and it's like moving around on its own discretion. Aw, oh, yeah. So, fun, fun little bag. I like it a lot. And now I, I, I'm gonna have to put a sappy plate in here, I'm curious. Oh yeah, there's also these pull tabs and these uh, side pockets if you want to use those. Up to you really, but yeah, so, turtle.
That's all I got for you guys. Cool bag. I like it a lot. And, uh, uh, I mean, free men don't, uh, request permission to defend themselves. I guess. I'm not saying make pipe, gun, pipe guns or anything in your garage, but hey, stay chivalrous. You can do that. That's free.